Welcome back to the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage, everybody. I am making a video today on a machine some of you may have seen in a few of the other videos. Uh, this video is being made on a Brother brand industrial sewing machine. This is a straight stitch sewing machine with uh, reverse. And um, this machine has uh, a number of features. It allows, of course, for adjustable stitch length control. It has a bobbin winder over here on the side. And it also has, um, has a one-third horsepower motor. It is very strong. And uh, it comes with, any of you who may be interested in seeing it, it comes with a, a very large number of bobbins. I forget how many. I've got at least, I don't know, five or six bobbins that go with it. It takes type M. They're easy to find. And it has a brand new organ brand, size 16 needle install. Uh, what else to say about it? It, of course, like many industrial machines, has a, uh, uh, a presser foot lift. So if I drop the foot, instead of reaching behind like you would on a home sewing machine, I can simply move my knee to the right and I can lift the presser foot up. And that's a feature that, that was <clears throat> put into industrial machines long, I mean, decades and decades before uh, people started to get it in home machines. Some of the new machines have that. It was done so that you could, you know, save the step of reaching behind the machine, I suppose. Uh, it is a very simple machine to thread, and the machine has been fully gone through. It has been reconditioned, and it has a brand new bath of sewing machine oil. And uh, what else to say about it? It, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, it, of course, has a uh, industrial-grade uh, sewing belt, and it includes uh, a table. What else to say? Uh, and again, I've got uh, extra needles for this as well. So I wanted to show this to you. <clears throat> uh, a one-third horsepower motor is a lot stronger than any home sewing machine motor. And any of you who might want to sew things like garment leathers, webbing, uh, this is a really uh, good, good example um, of leather, uh, excuse me, <laughs> of Levi's denim with a leather uh, uh, patch on the back. So I'll use that to kind of demonstrate it for you all. Uh, let's see. I'll start. I think I'll start. I've got a little piece of garment leather. I'm going to stitch that to this to this uh, webbing. And oh, you can see I'm used to home machines where I have to reach around the back. So I'm going to put this under the foot. And I want to start with my needle down. I may not have to with an industrial. It's just a habit I have. Whenever I'm using um, domestic machines, I always like to do that with heavy material. So, <clears throat> of course, your pedal is down below. Um, and I'm going to start off. And you can see I actually have some nice needle control. That's really, uh, really not bad for industrial machines. Uh, usually, they don't always provide that. Let's see if I got it stopped where I want it here. Okay, let's come around. I can go fast and I can go slow. Um, this machine takes uh, industrial sewing machine needles, but they're very easy to find. I actually have, I have a, 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 a ton of them that come with this machine. Uh, what else? It has a magnetic uh, seam guide that you're welcome to use if you need. Uh, let's see. So let's take this off, and then we'll sew the uh, denim. Because the denim will uh, have multiple densities for the machine to go over along with its leather patch. <clears throat> now a lot of times when I use home sewing machines, you guys will see me sew over multiple layers. You'll see me sew over seams. And of course, um, some I, I don't always have a leather patch, but I happen to have that. So put that under the, under the foot. And you can see I'm slowing it down. Now, I have a fabric needle. I don't have a uh, leather sewing needle in here. 
If you were going to sew leather, you'd want to use leather tip needles. They're available in this, in, with this, for this machine, just like they are with home machines. And you can see as I'm sewing, I'm going through the leather and multiple layers of denim. I'm going to come back. And I'll come back right across the leather and then over these multiple seams. This is a very, uh, it's a considerably beefy piece for any sewing machine to go through. And of course, this one's going through it uh, very, very easily. Now you see me basically, whoops, forgot to uh, make sure that my jeans pocket didn't catch there. So let me see if I can show you all the seams that this machine makes. Uh, the thread is sort of a pink colored thread. And let's see, where did I start? Okay, I started down here at the bottom, worked my way up, it went right over that seam, another seam, uh, from, the, from the denim over to the leather. And then I came across, I came down, and due to the sewer error, which I just made, you guys saw I, I wasn't paying attention to where my pocket was, and this machine sewed it anyway. You can see it just went right over it uh, like a bulldozer. And then uh, uh, the other side, it, it doesn't really show. It's hard to see it because of the there's a moire effect on the denim in the back here, but it's really wonderfully balanced stitch. Uh, let's see what else to show you. I have a piece of vinyl. This is a fabric-backed vinyl, and it's so some sort of glittery vinyl. I don't know if it was used in upholstery. Um, who knows? Um, a lot of people who look to sew this kind of material, uh, they will sometimes uh, look for an industrial machine. You can sew it with a home machine as well, but industrials will do it um, with less effort, I suppose. Now you can see me slowing it down, speeding up or slowing down. I'll to put it into reverse. You can certainly back tack with it. Just like home machines, a lot of industrial machines from the very earliest part of uh, sewing machine history did not have reverse. And that was true, of, you know, like I say, industrial and home machines. But this one um, uh, definitely has reverse. Uh, it was made, um, this was actually made in Japan. Some of the Brother Industrials today are made in other countries where labor is cheaper. But this is when Brother was still making industrial sewing machines in Japan. Now, they may still make some models, I don't know. But uh, a lot of that production left Japan. But this one, uh, Japanese made, beautifully made. Um, and the motor is actually uh, rather quiet for an, for an industrial motor. I'm used to them being louder. But anyway, if you would like to set up a time to come and see this machine, uh, if you're interested in uh, uh, taking a look at it, let me know. Through, you can contact me through the listing, and I'd be happy to uh, show it to you, show it how it runs. It's actually remarkably simple. You can even, uh, you can even see the thread, the thread path is simple as well. Um, this is kind of, sometimes people look at these and say, well, is this like a home sewing machine? In many ways it is, except it is much uh, more powerful, and depending on how much uh, you press the pedal, you can get a higher speed, and that makes sense. Industrial machines, uh, you saw me, I can sew more slowly if I want, but industrial machines were made uh, for, for being able to sew at higher speeds because that's, that was basically a form of efficiency in a garment sewing factory. Anyway, I appreciate all of you watching, and uh, stay tuned for the upcoming video. I have a few more machines I'll be restoring, um, and if you have one of these machines or something similar, Feel free to make comments down below. I'd be curious to hear what all of you think. Take care now.